Okay, so we're going to look at how to just edit content on a page. Uh, this one's the home page. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to simply log into WordPress and then click on Edit Page, or you can use the Fusion Builder Live. Okay, they both have different interfaces, but they both end up doing the same thing. So in this example, I'm just going to click Fusion Builder Live, and that's going to load the special builder that comes with the theme. Um, both interfaces, like I say, have the end result. Um, but are slightly different in the way that they operate. Okay, now the cool thing about the Fusion Builder Live is you get a, literally a view of what your, your page and then you can start to type uh, your text, all right? So um, this has got formatting available in it. Uh, as you can see, once you select text, you can start to change typography, make links, do all sorts of other stuff as well do bullet points, um, arrange text, okay? Um, there are other things you can do in here. Uh, so for example, I wanted to change this image in the background. I'd click on the container options. Over here, I'd go to background, and the background image, uh, it's probably not that container, it's probably the column maybe. Yeah, okay, so the background image is in the column there. Uh, if I wanted to change that, I can click remove, click on add and I can come across into the library and select a different image, click insert there and it's changed that image. Um, so this you'd have to just sort of poke around uh, adding elements. This uh, gives you all of the different types of elements that the theme has available. Uh, most of the time uh, we can use the search box here. Most of the time you're going to use just the sort of text blocks. Um, sometimes you're going to use, uh, you know, your checklists. A button is a very common one as well that you'd use to actually uh, make things happen. Uh, so lots of different tools you can use there if you want to embed a YouTube video, for example. Uh, that is how you add uh, new elements into a particular box here or a column. Uh, one of the other kind of cool things that's worth looking at is the um, settings for a container. So this container. Um, is nearly this whole row. So this is a column options. So I can change the column size in here if I wanted to do that and make that image smaller. I could change those column sizes. Um, all these things you've just got to have a play around with. Now, of course, if you do something and you break it and you don't like what you've done, don't hit save. Just quite simply hit the refresh button and then hit reload. Uh, so that's how you use the Fusion Builder. Uh, what I'll do now is go and have a look at the other builder, which is the backend editor. So that's the edit page up the top here. So if you click edit page instead, what that does is actually loads up the WordPress admin panel. And it looks a little bit different, um, but it actually it ends up being the same thing. So you can see, look, here's the column settings to do one thirds and two thirds. If I want to change the text in there, I can just click on edit. That brings up the editor. I've got all my text tools and so forth in there. I click save on that. And then of course, once you've done everything, click on update in the bottom right hand corner or click on update in the top right. Uh, if you want to check things as you go, click on the preview changes. Um, this one's a little easier to use because you can see, well, look, here's a, uh, that blue section there is that whole row of content. Uh, that blue section is the second row of content and so forth. So it, it does give you some uh, more, sorry, an easy, easier visual to be able to see how it's actually put together. Uh, you click on the little uh, icon here. This one's a, actually an, a button. Um, so that button there has got text of learn more and then it's got a link to uh, the, the page that it's going to. Uh, lots more bits of functionality in there as well. Um, the lots of videos available online about how to edit things in WordPress. Um, obviously, once you're done, click on update. Uh, the template here will change the way that your um, content is displayed as well. So the default templates aren't quite the same as the 100% width. So pay attention to that too. Um, what else is in here that's useful? Uh, the page options, the ways the page is put together, there's some content, there's some padding options, um, there's how the header works, the footer, sidebar, background, all sorts of other stuff as well. So there's plenty of things to be able to play with uh, in here to, to see how your content ends up looking.